Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a Philips 1269. It is a part of the old Philips cinema system and it was also in the rack system of my, uh, together with my previous video, the tube amplifier. So it has definitely something to do with the cinema system. Uh, I don't think this one is directly connected together with the um, audio amplifiers. So in the rack system, you will find two of this and two of the audio power amplifiers. So what exactly is this one doing? I got actually no idea so far. But what I can see is it's using two voltage stabilizer regulator tubes. They are constant current tubes. They're called uh, 1913 and they are from 1940, end of the 40s. This one here is a rectifier tube. It's absolutely fantastic. It's called 367, and it's a low voltage but high current rectifier tube, so it's not for anything high and dangerous. We've got a little bit of uh, some switches or configurations thingies right here. I don't know exactly what to do with those, so they just turn something on and off, maybe. And um, we can see here we got some, is this input, input, one or two, and C it says plus and minus for DC. But that is all there is, right? So how can we have the transformers right here when we have no cables or connections to those? I mean, we need to... Um, inspect a little bit more. Yes, okay, here we got the little naming plate. It says the numbers for the two tubes there and the middle one. Something with the order codes maybe. Maybe this is also a little type number or something like that. I don't know how easy it is to see the Philips uh, type number there, but it is definitely 1269. Let's look at the beautiful, beautiful tube. It's really big, much bigger than you probably imagine. The old, old four pin socket. And my constant current tubes, they seem to be pretty much in a good state, right? Look at that. I was able to Google something and I used the picture of this one and then I did a picture reverse uh, research and I found some pictures from a cinema in Iceland that is actually uh, using something like this. So I just wrote them an email and hopefully we will get some answers uh, what exactly is this unit doing in the cinema system. Other than that, <laughs> I need to do a little bit of research myself. Inside this, uh, yeah, rather simple unit, we find, of course, this backplane connector for the rack. And uh, we only got a few connections going on right here. And those two here, that will be chassis. And this is the spring one for chassis. And that is the same as my uh, audio amplifier. And then we actually just got four others, and they are nicely color-coded. See a red, a brown, green, yellow. So where are they going? There's a relay. That will be the socket for the big rectifier tube. And the two voltage regulators right there. And that will be the two little shorting connections so i believe that this is is it has to be the output at the front or some measurements or something like that so what exactly is it doing i still haven't really figured out what it is doing 
<laughs> is there a way we can figure this out? Okay, so the capacitors, they are in two and two uh, parallel, like that, but all uh, four grounds there just together, so it's a rather simple circuit. I should probably be able to figure this out, right? And then uh, this resistor right here is broken. See, it is melted like that. And when it's looking like this, it's typical for uh, overloading. So all I have to do now is figure out what is going on. Oh, look at that. So this one is blue. This one is blue. This one is red. So it probably goes to this one red. And here's a brown one that goes to this resistor and so on and so on. So I still don't understand exactly the transformers, where are they connected and how is this? Because oh, is this just inrush current or input or something like that, maybe? Hmm. I need more input. So this is what I've done so far. To untie all the wires. And this way I can much easier follow the different wires and figure out what they're doing. And... Uh, I think I'll do a little block diagram or something like that. Maybe maybe there's a way I can figure out what this is doing. Maybe it's regulating um, low voltage DC for the bulbs used in the audio system. Because you need a super clean um, light source for the audio system <laughs> back in the days. Audio that was a, a a visual track outside of the picture that's making the audio. So maybe that is what this is doing with the low voltage regulated and all that super filtered. And um, I think we got the mains voltage coming in. It goes through some inductors for whatever reason, and then it goes back to some transformer here and. Those big thick wires, that's of course the um, low voltage super high current filament for the rectifier um, tube here. And then we got the regulator tubes and they're also connected to the some windings and then it goes out here. I can't figure out if this is truly AC or DC, but it says plus and minus out here. And how is that possible? With all those different windings doing some stuff like that. But the only dial we got is here. And then the relay. What the heck is that doing? And it is a disconnect relay. So when you activate this one, it actually disconnects something else. Hmm. And it disconnects a serious resistor to ground. That is otherwise connected in serious with a coil like that. Hmm, how's that? How's that working? So, I cut away all the little cable holding threads. <laughs> Look at that. Quite a lot. And now it's super easy for me to follow all the different wires and see where they go. And maybe this can explain a little bit about what is this unit and what is it doing and also i figured out uh, here at this uh, connector we got some uh, numbers written on them and uh, look what i did i made a little schematic so there's a big hefty transformer and i figured this is the primary winding with the thermal fuse and it goes to two pins in the connector so that has to be mains input and then there is a low voltage output i have no idea what that is doing and then yeah three of the pins that will be ground and chassis that'll be the two big red resistors one is uh, blown up the other one looks a lot like it is also soon to go and look at that both of those two big red resistors they go to the end of two windings and I bet those are faced like that right so they go to the rectifier tube the big beautiful 367 tube and of course 
there is a center tap here on this this is the filament obviously this output is the positive supply and this goes to the front the six pin connector and i named it exactly as it is uh, called on the connector and then the two bulbs that will be the two uh, constant uh, current um, tubes and they are connected like this and i think uh, there's a return path via these and then this inductor and here you have um, two of the big capacitors and then one more of those filter chokes the big hefty inductors right here and then this dc voltage goes to a relay that discharges this voltage to ground via a big um, green resistor three ohms well, that is that one and then there is a relay you activate this relay via an external signal and then it disconnects this short and then somehow this output i don't know where that is not going anywhere really so this is just a disconnect of some sort it's uh, a really weird circuit and why are we doing it like that maybe it's yeah well I still haven't got any answers so i tried to figure out exactly what is the idea with this philips 1269 for the cinema system if you happen to know exactly what this drives what it supplies what is the whole idea about all this i would be really really happy but for now i think i'll just end this video with a big question mark at least we documented what it contains and how it is designed and all that kind of stuff and then we'll just get back to uh, figuring out uh, the usage um, probably later if i figure out something then i will of course put it in the description other than that you're of course super welcome to comment all you want so thank you very much for watching see you soon bye bye